I recently decided it was time to redesign the website for my e-commerce brand, Ankle Studios. The brand itself had grown and evolved over the last little while, and I feel like our UI is no longer encompassing of what we need it for and of our branding in general. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to bring you into my creative process, thinking and design process, so you can see how I personally tackle a website design project. I actually am not a designer in my nine to five, but website design has been something I've done while freelancing and now with my business partners in my design agency Zest for quite a few years now. It's definitely one of my favorite skills to work on and is something that I'm constantly trying to improve um, as I work on more projects. I'm adding some honey to my espresso. God, nobody judge me, but I'm feeling like a bit of a sweeter drink. So I have to melt the sugar first, hence why it's going into the espresso. I actually don't even usually like honey in my coffee, but. for today we're doing it I am feeling pretty tired today so um, I need this second cup of coffee I usually only work on ankle stuff on the weekends or after work so it's not always the best time to be working on ankle just because Mornings are typically my most like productive, creative, engaged I am to my work, but it is after work and I really need to work on this. So we're going to really give it a go and see how our design goes today. This might turn into a series instead of it being one video. We'll see how far I get today, but yeah, let's go ahead and ankle site together. Before we get started with today's video, I wanted to introduce you guys to today's video sponsor, which is Zyro. I think one of the toughest parts of when you're first starting out to build a website is figuring out how you're going to build that website. There are a ton of different options out there, so how do you choose? I remember when I was building my first website, affordability and ease of use were definitely the two most important factors that I had to consider. And if those two factors are really important to you as well, then I would highly, highly recommend today's video sponsor, Zyro. Zyro is the most affordable way for you to build a website on the market from scratch. There are a ton of different website builder options out there, but most of them have really costly monthly fees. And to be quite honest, are overkill if you're just looking to build a simple portfolio, website, or e-commerce store. Not only is Zyro affordable, but it is honestly one of the easiest to use programs that I have come across. It has a true what you see is what you get drag and drop builder, which means you can drag and drop elements from their library onto the site and customize it however you want to fit the design and aesthetic that you are going for. Zyro sites are also built with mobile responsiveness in mind, which is critical, like absolutely critical, as it's one of the key indicators to search engines like Google um, for them to recommend you on their results. That's one of the things you learn first when you become a website designer is to always design with mobile in mind because that's how important it is in today's landscape and Zara just takes care of that worry for you. If you want to give Zara a try for your next website project, which I highly recommend, they did give me an exclusive offer to share. If you use a link in my description box, you will get a free custom domain for a year and three months free if you subscribe to their annual plan. They also do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if at any point you decide that you no longer are in need of a website, you have the peace of mind that your subscription won't go to waste. I've absolutely loved using Zyro myself and I'm actually building a website using their builder right now. So if you guys 
want to see what I'm building, let me know and I can make another video on that. All right, on that topic, let's get back to redesigning angle. Okay, on to my design and creative process. I almost always start out by looking for inspiration. Although typically when I am thinking about a new creative process, I already have thought about how I imagine the brand to look, especially when taking on client projects, having detailed discovery calls with them, um, help me to envision a look and feel as well as think about some initial colors and themes that I have like paired with the brand but whether or not I've already done that I still try to take the time to look at inspo to look at competitor examples what they're doing well as well as look on sites like dribble and Pinterest for just inspiration in general I'm using Milanote to gather my inspiration I've been enjoying starting my projects here as it kind of allows me to create a visual mood board super easily um, as well as gather like branding elements to refer back to I sometimes just do this directly within Figma as well as that's typically what I use for design but I have been liking having all my mood boards and branding guidelines in one place so that I can easily flip through them and then also I can like look back on old projects to take inspiration as well so you can kind of see here the look that I'm trying to go for I've picked out some colors um, for the mood board and laid those out. I've dictated what text or what font I want to use, the typography, and then I did add in some of the elements that I already designed as well. I've added in some of my existing product photos just to get more inspo and organize that. And then if you go into the general mood board, you can see that I've gathered some images that I think is representative of this look and feel that I'm trying to portray on our new site. So the first thing that I'm doing is actually just building out some elements. Um, so I've looked at competitor sites and I've kind of figured out how I want my elements to look. I think this is sometimes overlooked, but if you have a really congruent element set, I feel like that can really make or break a site. So just making sure that your buttons and your forms are kind of in all the same styling. And then I lay out what I want my font hierarchy to look like as well so like what do my h1s look like what do my h2s h3s look like um you can build it out further like your h4s h5s h6s as well if you'd like but i just wanted to at least lay it out and get the spacing that i like for overall like text and buttons and forms so because i started this project already i have actually built out the home page already um which i'll go over with you guys exactly what my process was building and putting together that page but I thought I would go through a little design practice with you guys and show you my process of designing a little pop-up form for um, getting people to join the newsletter so deciding what you want your pop-up form to look like or do you want it to be something on the page actually instead of a pop-up form um, do you want it to be a modal that pops up do you want it to be a little thing that slides out from the bottom I've decided just to go with like the classic modal that pops out um, I wanted to put my product image on one side so it's really clear like what is the brand that you're signing up for and then I wanted to put a little customer testimonial um, just to kind of reiterate why people enjoy our product um, and why it might be worth it to sign up for a newsletter and then on the other side you want to lay out like what you want your form to look like what you want your buttons to look like I typically find that these work better if you incentivize the users somehow so whether that's offering like a discount or offering it to be kind of like a giveaway uh, potential so like if you sign up you'll be um, entered into the giveaway whatever it may be having some small incentive is going to help people sign up to your newsletter um, or it can just be like a resource incentive as well so if you're a workspace brand like ankle you can be like sign up to get the best um, productivity tips sent straight to your inbox I find that sometimes if that messaging aligns well enough that can be incentive enough but yeah, this is kind of what the end product looks like. Again, keeping with that super simple aesthetic that we've created with the elements, um, I am using the green button, which is supposed to be the hover button, but I'm using the green button here because it's a white background and I wanted to keep it a really clean white background. So green button it is, 
but yeah, that is what the form looks like. So beyond just dictating what the elements are looking like, I wanted to build out what I wanted like the errors or the notices on the site look like. So going more into the user experience side of things, um, I'm just building out what the different error messages will look like for your email signup forms. Um, so I just kind of took this inspiration, I think it was from Dribbble or Google, of some colors that I liked that other people use for their notices and for their, um, just like their interactions. And I found these four colors that I really liked. Um, typically there are kind of these sorts of notices. So there's like an error message, a caution message, an information message, and then like an approved message or something that shows that it worked. So I'm just kind of going through and building out what I think I want those to look like. I started out with this kind of speech bubble look, but I ended up going with just more of a square, simple look instead, just because I found that it matched the overall aesthetic of the site a little bit more. I'll show you guys what the homepage looks like now that I've designed. So this is the homepage. I started out with kind of designing this navigation bar and figuring out what I want that to look like because it can be um, like logo on one side and uh, navigation on the other, or it can be the center navigation that you see here. Some people just want to use super simple like hamburger menus even on the desktop. I went for this centered version and I, as I'm going to build out the mobile uh, <laughs> version of the homepage, which I think I will do in the next episode. You'll see how that kind of changes depending on what kind of um, frame size you're using. And then I wanted to do this kind of rolling top bar, so showcasing several messages, but instead of showcasing, showcasing them one by one, I just wanted to be like a little ticker and just kind of constantly um, ticking through or rotating through the messages. This is what the above the fold looks like. So it has two hero images, which if you go over here and it shows kind of the hover interaction that the user would get. So if you hover over an image, it'll display this light fade and then give the name of the product as well as a link to shop. Keep scrolling down and I wanted to add in um, right kind of near the above the fold cutout or just right below it information about what ankle studios is all about so kind of sharing our mission and our vision underneath that i wanted to make sure that i um, gave space to all of our other products or some of our other products at the end of the day this is an e-commerce shop so i wanted to make the home page informational but also very easily shoppable um, you can see one of the interactions here if i hover over the product this will come up uh, which allows you to quickly add a product to your cart underneath here we actually have this why ankle section so this is a bit of a new section that i'm adding to the site but essentially it's just reiterating why you should choose ankle over other products because yes there are going to be other workspace brands that are more affordable but um why is ankle better or why does ankle last longer and how come you should choose our brand over another brand. So I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the reasons why we think our products are amazing and why we think that our clients will love them as well. It just gives a bit of a backstory about what we keep in mind as we are releasing products and I'm hoping that this messaging aligns with the buyers and what they are looking for uh, when they're investing in workspace goods. Underneath that, I have this lovely little banner um, or this little section, I guess, that has some call to action. So again, there's that sign up for the newsletter um, piece that I created the modal for. So if they click this, then the modal will pop up allowing them to sign up. Um, I wanted to point out some of our offers as well, or just some things that might be interesting to a buyer and incentivize them to buy. For example, you can save with our sets. So we do offer um, like a set that you can buy uh, where you can get the laptop stand and the monitor stand, and that allows you to save some money rather than buying them individually. 
and then the work stipend as well so ankle studios is a valid home office expense which means that if you are working from home from your company your personal business or your um, nine to five job they can actually expense ankle studios for your work from home stipend um, or like as a tax deduction as well so I think that's good to know in case you want to get your company to pay for uh, your ankle goods after that I added the section called your favorites and I wanted to break down the categories instead of into like desk and paper or like laptop stands and monitor stands I wanted to break down the categories um, for the different reasons why you would need workspace goods so for life for organization and for work from home and then I kind of split the products into these different categories depending on like what they're most suitable for so for example for life would include our new wooden tray as well as our notebooks as well as our um, bags and then for organization there's our pencil holders and our laptop stands and monitor stands and then for work from home will be largely the laptop stands and monitor stands underneath there i've created space for the blog blogs are amazing for creating additional seo juice for your website it's definitely something that we need to continue to work on and we haven't been able to like have the time to create new blog posts but we do have a couple of blog posts which i think are um, written pretty well and they really do add to kind of the educational piece of our brand so that's something that i want to continue to work on which is why i wanted to make sure that i left space for it on our homepage as well and then underneath that is just the Instagram so you can see the most recent Instagram posts that we've posted and then the footer and that's kind of the home page that I designed all right I think that's all that I am going to do for this episode I guess there will be an episode two even though I had a lot of the design created already it's taken me a lot of time just to document that and I want to really do that properly for this project because I think it's important and it makes it so I do have reusable elements for future projects as well, which I think is huge. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I went into enough detail explaining how I was doing things and why I was doing things the way I was doing. It's really hard to explain your creative process, I think, but I hope I was able to at least give you guys some insight into what goes on through my head when I'm designing a website or anything. If you guys liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if you guys are even interested in seeing a part two. I actually had a lot of fun making this video and it was like, you know, hitting two birds with one stone because I was able to work on this project that I'm working on while also filming a video, so it was like productivity at its best, you know? If you have any questions about anything that I talked about today, make sure to leave them in the comments because I will definitely try my best to answer them. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, please and thank you. And of course, if you are looking for a super easy to use and affordable, affordable, I just, that is such a key word because website builders are so effing expensive, but if you guys are looking for a great website builder for your first website project or even for your second or third or if you just want to try out something new, make sure to go and give Zyro a try. The link in my description box gives you this amazing offer of a free domain for a year and three extra months for free, money back guarantee. So make sure you go through there and check it out. All right, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next video. Bye.